Dear friends, there is not enough time again uh, to produce a quality video for which I apologize. So here I'm just going to read another letter that I have written for my friends and family that don't believe. So here we go. Uh, dear friend, in my last two letters, I explained how the major signs pointed to Nisan 10 in the Jewish calendar. These major signs connect to each other using the phi ratio and in turn point to Nisan 10. I also explained how this is truly profound as the phi ratio is God's way of expressing the Trinity. Also, like God, we are triune beings consisting of three parts that make the whole, spirit, soul, and body. Those that are said to be in Christ during their life will be perfected upon the resurrection or rapture and become like Jesus. We will be, quote, a new creation, quote, a God-man race with Jesus at its head. Thus, we will become part of the Trinity by being in Jesus. The phi ratio expresses this triune relationship Jesus has with God the Father. The human Jesus is to the divine Jesus as the divine Jesus is to God the Father. Nisan 10 began at sunset on March 25th and went until sunset March 26th. Nisan 10 was the day Joshua, Hebrew for Jesus, led the Hebrews into the Promised Land. It was also the day Jesus of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, thus completing the 69 sets of seven years prophesied in Daniel chapter 9. Therefore, a fitting day to resume this prophecy with the 70th set of seven years, the end times period. When it appeared that the rapture was not on Nisan 10, we grasped for Nisan 11, and I told you March 27th. This was incorrect. So what happened on Nisan 10? On this day, on March 26th before sunset, for the first time, a group of Jews were allowed to hold an animal sacrifice one step away from the Temple Mount. This was massively prophetic. As I explained more clearly in my videos, God is in the process of restoring Israel. This restoration isn't complete until the Temple Mount is rebuilt, or until the Temple is rebuilt, and sacrifices resume. Ultimately, this restoration will be complete when, quote, the mystery of the blindness of the Jews is removed, quote, uh, mystery of the, quote, mystery of the blindness of the Jews, quote, is removed, and the remnant of believing Jews call upon Jesus to save them in Israel's darkest hour seven years from now. This will be when Jesus returns to rule from, from the temple in Jerusalem for 1,000 years. In recent years, before Passover, a small group of Jews have been holding sacrifices in Jerusalem, each one being progressively closer to the temple. Stunningly, this year the police let them perform the sacrifice right at the temple. This was very controversial. Uh, it had been very controversial, so this is a very surprising uh, 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 unfolding of events here. This is a sign of the changing mood in Israel and changing mood in general worldwide. Also, uh, it was not just a small group of Jews in attendance. The push for rebuilding the temple has become mainstream in Israel, and over 1,500 Jews were in attendance for this sacrifice. God pointed to this event in an overwhelming way. In addition to all the major signs pointing to this event through the phi ratio in a sort of phi spiral, but also the countdown to March 20th pointed to this day. As I explained before, from the minute of equinox at sunset on, on Laodicea, sorry, as I explained before, from the minute of equinox and sunset on Laodicea, it is a prophetic 120 hours and 144 hours to the beginning and end of Nisan 10. It turns out that God is not done with his signs revealing his timing. It turns out that even that an even greater phi spiral of signs that connect through the phi ratio points that connect through the phi ratio points to first fruits in the Jewish calendar. This greater spiral, if you will, perhaps makes this a somewhat of a spiral, uh, uh, like a galaxy spiral, you know, arms of spirals, uh, uh, like a galaxy of, uh, what are they, a uh, spiral arm galaxy. Um, 
anyway, first fruits. This day is highly symbolic as it, uh, as it is said that those that have died in Christ and those that will be raptured are God's first fruits in the harvest of souls. In ancient Israel, the, the Jews would take the first fruits, the best of their crops, and offer them at the temple. This day of first fruits begins at sunset on March 31st and goes until sunset on April 1st. It is also amazing that this day, um, that this day as an, it is also amazing that this day is an additional prophetic 120 and 144 hours from the end of Nisan 10, just after the sacrifice. Thus, this is um, um, replicating the pattern that we saw from the Laodicean sunset, 120 hours and 144 hours. In turn, pointing from March 26th to the first fruits. Okay. It was also discovered today that God has made it simple as well as beautifully complex. Going back from April 1st in 10 day increments lands on dates of major signs. Going back 100 days to the UN vote to condemn Israel as Jeru as Israel's capital, thereby condemning God's word and God. So this is it, my friends. Global chaos beginning April 1st or March 30th to April 2nd will prove the matter. Again, my primary motivation in per persevering through all of this was to prove to you what you think is not true. That the Bible is the inspired word of God, that the God of Israel is the true God, and that being in Jesus Christ is the only way to be in God the Father. Those that refuse to love the truth are going to be eternally separated from God. The truth is that all are sinners and require God's righteousness and that any other form of justifying oneself is pride, the root of sin, which is why all, the, all other world views and religions are, in a sense, are essentially uh, pride, uh, having some form of method of trying to reach God. Only biblical Christianity recognizes that. Anyway, God must reject sin in order to maintain his integrity. The solution for God to sacrifice, the solution was for God to sacrifice and become a man and resurrect the creation through resurrecting himself. The metaphor for how God can have us is the placenta. The placenta, please excuse how this is poorly written. Uh, the, the, the metaphor for how God can have us is the placenta. The placenta is 50% the mother's DNA and 50% the baby's. This is a metaphor for how, as Jesus said, we can be in him who is in the Father. Refusing this truth is rejecting God. It is an unconscious or conscious hatred of the true God. You will pay the price for your sin and this rejection, as God is good and therefore just and righteous. As well, as sinners, we do not see sin the way he does. Sin is many more times more serious than we realize. God has partially hid himself because this life is the test of righteousness to separate the sheep from the goats that cannot be herded and go their own way to see who will choose to love the truth and God's ways or who will remain in their pride and choose their own quote vain imaginings quote of, of truth. One last thought. If you watched my two hour video or the shorter segment I cut out of the video and posted you will recall that God was pointing to April 1st, April Fool's Day, as Antichrist Day. The connections to this day that imply the Antichrist are stunning. I would like to say again that New Agers and atheists slash agnostics will be fooled. Atheists slash agnostics will join the atheistic spirituality that is the New Age, the dominant religion in the West today. The Antichrist will explain the coming supernatural with, quote, science, quote. This will be how the atheist agnostic accepts the new developments into their worldview, the same as the New Ager has done. The New World Religion will use, quote, science, quote, to explain the supernatural and spirituality, and thus it won't be supernatural. Calling it, quote, science, quote, is just a, is just a misleading label. Again, the Pope is the Antichrist and Obama is the second beast in Revelation. Aliens are demonic deception, taking the mark of the beast, which may or may not be a literal mark, 
is a ticket to eternal separation from God. When the end times begins this weekend, please tell many others how the Lord used me to be able to tell you in advance so that this would prove to you that Jesus is Lord and inoculate you from the coming deception. Read all of my letters again. Watch my videos one through five and the two hour video I posted on March 1st. Go to the amazing additional resources section of my website, www.clearlywritten.net. The, the daily Bible reading in all daily Bibles for April 1st includes the transfiguration on the mountain in Luke 9. This is amazing. This symbolizes the transfiguration of believers in the sky at the resurrection and rapture. The daily Bible reading also includes Deuteronomy 18 and, and verses strongly warning against false religion and religious practices and also warning of false prophets. This too is fitting for this April, for April Fool's Day, Antichrist Day. The day of the rapture is also the beginning of the end times on earth and revealing of the Pope as Antichrist. Also, April 1st or 4 slash 1 points to Revelation 4 1. Quote, After this I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven, and the voice I had, I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, quote, Come up here, and I will show you what must... Mu said quote, come up here and i will show you what me i will show you what must take place after this quote. and the voice i heard speaking to me like a trumpet said quote, come up here and i will show you what must take place after this quote. <laughs>